the king, baby. And I'm looking forward to Andy Ruiz and Deontay Wilder, so uh, stay tuned, baby. Deontay Wilder versus Andy Ruiz. is a terrifying clash between the American time bomb and the Mexican speed fighter. This big bang attracts all the giants of the boxing world, including the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. The WBC title champion, the Destroyer, will destroy the bronze bomber quickly and brutally. So what makes Tyson Fury believe the Mexican can beat the American? Let's Everyone's got a great game plan until they get punched in the face. Mm -hmm. Let's find out in today's video. But before you jump in, remember, like, subscribe, and tap that icon bell. That way you don't miss out on any updates from Boxing Insane. Yeah. All the, the bitch, again. all the heavyweights that's watching you know, me. you get the sense that... Not too wild this time, baby. Former world heavyweight champion Andy Ruiz returned to the ring after over a year of inactivity to face ex-title challenger Luis Ortiz in California and dropped him three times before winning the decision. The Destroyer's unbeaten in his last two fights, having outpointed Chris Ariola last May, and he called out Wilder after the last win. You know, thanks to God we got this victory. Hopefully he gets his victory in October and we can make this fight happen. He Ruiz wants to face Deontay Wilder in an effort to get himself back in world heavyweight title contention after a comeback win over Luis Ortiz. Deontay Wilder says he's ready whenever to face Andy Ruiz Jr. after the Destroyer called him out following the victory over Luis Ortiz in the WBC heavyweight eliminator on Sunday. With the softball, Big right hand by Ruiz. I'm willing and ready and able. They all know that. Everybody in the heavyweight division know what Deontay Wilder brings. Ruiz knocked down Ortiz three times on a way to win in the Los Angeles, and Wilder watched ringside. The Bronze Bomber has a heavyweight eliminator of his own coming up against Finland's Robert Hellenius October 15th. If he triumphs, a meeting with Ruiz appears to be in the cards for the right to be the WBC mandatory challenger. And of course, the WBC champion Tyson Fury doesn't sit idly by before trying to find out his next opponent. Fury has made his prediction about a potential fight between Deontay Wilder and Andy Ruiz Jr. In a recent interview with Ring Magazine, the WBC heavyweight champion gave his thoughts on the potential fight. He is the winner by way of knockout, and he is still... Fury has publicly stated that Deontay Wilder could beat any other heavyweight in the division, except for him. The Bronze Bomber and Fury had one of the greatest trilogy fights ever packed with knockdowns and unexpected turns till the very end. This is why the Gypsy King has earned a new level of respect for the American. So he's doing a lot of pushing work. However, Fury admires Andy's abilities and expects Andy to defeat Wilder. But maybe Fury prefers Andy's style. With experience fighting three times with Wilder, Fury may find the American fighting style too instinctive, while Andy's game is genuine. So how are Wilder and Ruiz different? Well, for Andy Ruiz, he has enormous strength and speed. Quick hands, quick feet, respectful power in both hands, enthusiasm, and speed. His style is getting to his opponent behind a deceptively fast jab and agile feet. His footwork isn't pretty like the rest of his game, but he closes that distance before opponents know it. And in the bout against Parker, at times, the Destroyer did a great job closing that distance, making Parker uncomfortable. 
This advantage will give him an edge over Wilder, who throws punches and rarely intends traps. What about, what about stamina? The Destroyer also has quite a bit, and his fighting tempo increases towards the end of the match. If you let your guard down, Andy Ruiz will make you pay. This can be seen in his battle with Chris Ariola, where Ruiz has shocked the world when he spoiled Anthony Joshua's U.S. debut with a seventh round TKO at Madison Square Garden. So the longer fights. Yeah, I mean, I've got to say, no doubt. I think again, I think I'm going to win this guy. Let's talk about Wilder. Incredible power. It's safe to say Deontay has firmly secured his position as one of the hardest hitters in boxing history, reminiscent of George Foreman, Ernie Shavers, and Mike Tyson. He lacks in variety and skill, but boy does he make up for it in raw power. That right hand does the most damage, like when he knocked out Bermain Stavern through his guard. That's power. Stamina, Wilder's threat as a puncher is compounded by the fact that his punching power does not decrease during the match. Fury discovered this the hard way in round 12 of their first fight. Not only is Wilder dangerous right out of the gate, but worse still, the longer the fight goes, the more the threat level increases. As you begin to tire, his punches lose no power, speed, or accuracy. Continues to bait Wilder, and Wilder says, okay, you want more? No problem. Here's some of that. Boom. Right off the bar. Oh, there's a big right hand by Wilder. And that was early. Is Wilder going to pick it up? No. Let's talk mental focus. In addition to the danger of that right hand, Wilder's also equipped with extreme mental focus. He doesn't care if he's losing every round. He doesn't even care about getting tagged left, right, and center. His rematch with Luis Ortiz showed that a fighter could not let their guard down for Wilder in a split second. Otherwise, you will get knocked out with a punch to the head. Trudges forward, a right hand, down goes Ortiz! Oh my goodness! Despite losing to Tyson Fury twice in a row, Wilder remains one of the deadliest punchers the heavyweight division has ever seen. He is still the number one ranked heavyweight in the division and will look to challenge for the title again. Ruiz Jr., on the other hand, the former unified heavyweight champion of the world, is also looking to get his hands on the title again. So who do you think would win between Wilder and Ruiz? Would it be a knockout, a TKO, or a unanimous decision? Which round will the fight end? Leave your comments below and let us know. And don't forget, like, subscribe, tap that icon bell. You don't want to miss any videos from Boxing Insane. Stay safe, and we'll see you next time.